Okay, this is the WigWag controller printed circuit board. As you can see, it's a, a small module, 50 by 30 millimeters, that's about 2 inches by 1.5. And a, a connector on the left hand side, which has plus 12 at the top, ground at the bottom, and then plus 12 and ground out to each of the two LED lamps. On the right hand side is a three way connector. Uh, that can go to a switch on your panel to select the mode or you can just uh, insert links into that connector if you don't need to change the mode. It has spongy foam adhesive on the underside uh, to uh, first of all protect the, any um, wiring that's on the circuit board but also you can remove the protective tape and it will stick down quite firmly onto a, an aluminium or metal surface. Typical application for this would be to connect it to two forward facing landing lights on your aircraft uh, and normally use that in the wigwag mode uh, where in flight you're alternating left, right, left, right. The other alternative is to connect to strobe lights, possibly one on the top of your fin and one on the belly of the fuselage. And in that mode you tend to use the uh, strobe mode uh, which has rapid flashing, uh, four flashes on one lead, a pause and then four rapid flashes on the other lead. But it's entirely up to you how you want to use it. For the it. purposes of this demonstration, I've hooked it up to two small LED spot lamps I got from JCars. They're quite tidy little units, waterproof and reasonably streamlined. Only $30 each. Uh, they'd be quite suitable for uh, landing lights on a uh, micro light aircraft. Uh, quite attractive little okay, units. Okay, in this constant on mode, I've got no connections to the, um, the mode selection terminals on the right hand side and you'll see that both of the LED lights are on. In this mode I have made a connection uh, to the wigwag um, mode terminal and you'll see that the two lights are alternately flashing left and right. You'd normally use this with forward facing landing lights uh, when you're in flight. It, uh, the fact that it's flashing helps to attract attention uh, but if you're coming into land and taxiing by simply removing that link or opening the switch, then it'll go back to both lights fully on for visibility on the ground. And this mode is the strobing mode with the, uh, the strobe connections made on the right hand connector. And you see we get alternate four rapid flashes left and right. Normally used with a fin and um, fuselage belly uh, strobe lights. Again, you could use them also with wingtip lights, it's your choice. The idea is that you choose lights that are suitable for your aircraft, be they landing lights facing forward, wingtip lights, or fin and belly strobe lights, and use this little controller to, to control them. Installation is simple, plus 12 and ground to the unit, wires out to the, uh, the, the, the two lamps, and either jumpers to select the mode on the right hand side connector, or take it out to a switch on your panel so you can see, select between full on wigwag mode or strobe and mode. And just one comment, particularly while you're in the strobe mode with the rapid flashing, um, long wires out to the lamps can act like very good aerials and radiate uh, quite a bit of interference with the rapid switching on and off. So what you really need to do is to ensure that the wiring out to the lamps, the power and ground are twisted together to reduce interference and that you fit a ferrite um, choke at either end of the wiring to help to reduce any radio frequency interference.